Hi everyone, this is Karina Van Elsen. On this video, I'm going to show you how to create a pole wrapping shiburi. This is actually my first time to create a large piece of fabric, a 3 meter long silk by 44 inch wide. Normally, I would just create a scarf. This one is for a caftan jacket. The tube I use on this video is a PVC pipe, which I also used for steaming under controlled heat. So let's get started. You can do other ways to compress your fabric, fold, twist, bind, but here I stitch the end edge and scrunch the silk tightly and diagonally wrapped it on my PVC pipe. I forgot to show you on video that I used masking tape to hold the fabric onto the pipe first so I can easily diagonally wrap around. Then stabilize the fabric with elastic bands or you can use rubber bands. I decided to use the elastic ribbons, which can be reusable. I find it so hard to use rubber bands, especially after drying the fabric. I'll show you what I mean later. I washed my scrunch silk fabric with warm water. This is my way to pre-shrink it and to moisten before painting. Then towel dry to remove excess water or drip dry for an hour. Don't let it dry all the way. Because I'm using silk, make sure get the proper silk paint. You cannot use dye or paint for synthetics when you're painting on natural fiber. The paint will wash away, just a waste of time. Always test your colors before painting. Use similar scrap fabric. If you're painting on silk, don't test your paints on cotton fabric. This is just the way I work, especially if I'm painting on large material. Don't worry if your colors look so bright, they always fade a little after rinsing and then they come alive again after setting them. In this case, I steam this fabric. Always follow your paint's instructions on how to set your painted fabric. I also improvise containers for my paints. It's a lot easier to do this way if you're painting on large fabric. You need to get those paints through the thickness of the scrunched fabric. You also need water spray to get those paints dispersed. I use old tomato sauce container here. Recycle is the word. Make sure to tip your pipe sideways as well to be able to paint the edges of your fabric, both sides of the fabric. That is, if you want to color the whole fabric, or you can also leave the edges white. Call it design feature. To finish off, you can use brush to add a bit of lines in between colors. I leave my finished painted silk under the sun to fully dry all day. It needs to be really, really dry, then leave it alone indoor for another day, just to be sure. Now it's time to unwrap my fabric. This is why I like using elastic ribbons, because it's easy to unwrap rather than struggle with stretching rubber bands. You can also cut to break rubber bands, that is if you're careful, but accidents can happen by snipping your fabric and you wouldn't like that. We're not done yet. I leave my silk to dry and wait for a week to allow the color to set into the fabric before I begin the fun process, which is the steaming. I rolled my silk gently on a craft paper. Some people don't allow their fabric to touch together, but here I folded my fabric because I can't find paper wide enough and also with my way of improvising things, I don't have a tube long enough to steam my fabric, so I can only use what I have. After all, if it's a hobby, you should be able to find a way to do things without stretching your budget. Now, steam setting can be easily done in a large pot. The burst of steam and heat will set the paint and make your fabric like any regular colored fabric, washable, dry cleanable, color fast, and ready to wear. I bought this vintage preserving sterilizer off online store in my local area where I pick it up for 50 bucks. I will be using this to steam all my silk paintings. Be very careful not to subject your silk to overheating. Once your steamer starts to boil, lower the temperature to 190 degrees Fahrenheit or 85 degrees Celsius. 
Now remember this PVC pipe I used to paint my silk with? Now I can use it to steam my fabric. It didn't work actually, even when I set my timer to 3 hours 30 minutes. I just made sure I used a lot of old towels to trap the mist of steam. Now it's the moment of truth to see if I damaged my silk during the process. After a quick rinse, I let it dry. I'm happy with it. Whatever flaw I have on my fabric, let's call it a design feature. Can't be perfect the first time. And then I made this lovely caftan jacket with hotfix crystals. Procedure and application of hotfix crystals is on this link. I hope you like this video and thank you for watching. This is Karina Van Elsen.